Hey guys, I'm Dory from the blog This Full Life Vibe, and today I want to take you antique shopping with me. We recently spent a weekend in Branson, and on our way home, as we were driving through the Ozarks, there was a uh, sh there was a shopping center off uh, Highway 65, Ozark Antiques, and you guys, there were so many. There was it was four large buildings full of just antiques, and it was amazing. It was so much fun. We pulled off and spent probably an hour and a half, two hours, we could have spent all day there. It was so much fun. They had so many just neat things and good prices and different things. And so, um, so today I just kind of wanted, I wanted to, um, tell you kind of what I look for when I'm going antique shopping. And then, uh, we took some video while we were there. And so I'll take you through some of those stores and let you see some of what we got to see. Um, I came home with a huge haul of milk glass. I just recently started collecting milk glass. And so I got a huge haul of that. And, uh, next week I'm going to share, uh, those pieces with you. And then I'll show, um, show you how I'm decorating with those. So I always have kind of a list of things that I'm looking for when we go antique shopping. Like I said, right now I'm collecting, I just started collecting milk glass. Um, I used to have a lot of it. I We had a booth in an antique mall when we lived in Omaha, Nebraska, the Brass Armadillo, and I had collected a lot of milk glass to put in my booth um, and most of it sold and I'm kind of kicking myself. I kind of wish I'd hung on to more of it, but I've started collecting it. And so I always look for those pieces. I love these hobnail pieces. Um, they're my favorite, but uh, I have several pieces now, and so I'll, I'll share that collection soon. I also look for vintage blue ball jars. I just love these. I love the color, and I just think they're really neat, and so I've been collecting these as well. Um, I also look for Crocs. I love vintage Crocs. I like putting plants in them and just uh, using them for decoration around the house. And so I'm always on the lookout for those um, as well. And then just some other things I usually have something that I'm looking for. I love the wooden vintage dough bowls and so I've been looking for one of those and I love anything brass and so brass candlesticks. I just got a set of brass salt and pepper shakers. Um, old vintage clocks are fun and so I just have different things that I look for here and there. Uh, some, sometimes it's just one certain piece that I'm looking for. I recently got a typewriter. I'd been wanting one for a while and so we found a vintage typewriter. Um, and then some things it's I'm looking for several because it's something that I'm collecting but I also just love um, taking our kids. We take our kids a lot of times when we go and it's just teaching them history as we walk through. We'll, we'll tell them this is how they used to use this or this was this original purpose or this is how they did things back then and so it's neat for them to see just that history of uh, how these things were used and how people used to do things uh, years ago and so it's good for them to learn that as well so we just enjoy going and walking through and seeing what there is and just hunting for treasures this is a vintage cheese strainer I've never seen one of these before but this would look so cool hanging on your wall you could put maybe a little wreath in it or put some flowers in there um, or maybe hang a bow or something from it. I don't know, but this would be really cool. Look at this vintage foot warmer from the 1800s. Can you imagine? This is a vintage wood butter press. How cool is that? $85 or I would be all over this, but this is so cool. I've never seen one like this. So This is a milk glass ice bucket, uh, the hobnail style. I love this hobnail style. And it's only $11.99. It's a steal.
this is an antique butter churn. You put the cream in there and then you would hand crank it until it turned into butter. It's made in the USA. Look at this really cool butter copper kettle. That's beautiful. Thanks so much for shopping with me today. I hope you had fun checking out these antique stores. If you're ever in the Branson, uh, Springfield area, check out those o Ozark antique uh, stores. You will love it. Make sure you plan some decent amount of time to go through there because it will take a while, but it's so much fun. And so I hope you enjoyed this and we'll be back next week. I'll show you again uh, what I found uh, on this shopping trip and show you how I'm using it in my decor and we'll see you there.